Hey everybody, um, got a little bit of time today. What I thought would be kind of cool is to actually answer a couple of questions that have been posed to me, either by people that I've been performing for, or just people who are curious as to why I do magic, or how I got started. So I think I'll just take this opportunity right now to answer some of the common questions that I get all the time. So let's get started. How I got started is kind of slow. Well, rather slowly, rather. Um, when I was about eight or nine years old, I can't remember when, I saw this um, magic special on TV. It was all about uh, resurrecting Houdini. It was around Halloween since that was the anniversary of his death. I think it was the 60th. Yeah, so it probably was around 88. I honestly don't remember what was done or what was said. I do remember that there was a kind of a sense of astonishment that I had as to why this has happened because up to this point I don't think I'd ever actually seen an actual magician except maybe what was in the cartoons, you know, with like the you know, wand and stuff happening. And uh, oh, and Merlin of uh, Sword in the Stone, he was, he was my hero for a while. But I remember that Harry Blackstone Jr. was on it. And like I said, I don't remember what he did or what was what was presented, I just remember the name and his, I guess, persona that he had about him. So, um, I was also involved in one of those little programs that, like, you sell magazines or stuff like that, and you get, you know, prizes and stuff for it. And I remember one of them was his magic kit. So, I sold and worked just for that one particular prize. Uh, we actually used it once for a very not successful um, magic show in fifth grade, a friend of mine and I. But from then on, I was kind of hooked on it. And that's really what got me started to where I am right now. I learn mostly from books these days. Um, you know, when I was small, I'd get a book from the bookstore whenever we'd go into Crucis or a town with a mall. Um, these days, I admittedly, I do see DVDs, um, but books still is where my backbone is. Take the techniques that I learn, <laughs> take the techniques that I learn, and um, apply them to what I'm reading. And that's actually something that I'm consciously doing right now to try to build myself up as a better performer, rather than just you know, here's a trick, here's a trick, here's a trick. Rather, here's an experience. Here's something that I hope you'll kind of take with you, um, pretty much. Practicing just about every single chance I get. Those of you who have <laughs> spent more than maybe an hour or two with me know that I'm always doing something with my hands. Um, I've got this in my hand right now mostly because a uh, deck of cards I think would be a bit distracting, but this I think it's uh, just as bad. Um, but every just every chance I get at work, I've got a pack of cards on me. If I can't have those, like when I'm since I'm working on the floor, I'll have a coin just kind of rolling in my hands just to keep busy. That's what I do. Now this this that's an interesting question. Is this something that you're just born with? Yes and no. Because I think for something like this you have to be a little bit peculiar. So I'm obviously way overqualified for that. But is it something that you actually have to work at and develop? Yes, definitely. Just as any of my musician friends will tell you and are probably sick of the phrase, you know, you got to pay your dues before you can play the blues. So that's what I'm doing right now. Kind of falls over the question, if you you can do this, what are you doing here? Why am I not playing a bigger venue? Well, I'm trying to get my, my performance chops in order because my techniques are okay and my presentations are okay. But you can only do so much, you know, practicing in a small room in front of a mirror without showing anybody anything. So without any sort of, I guess, grading guidelines, you could say, for me, I have to 
be my own teacher, really. I can get the instruction, but I have to be my own teacher. I have to be, make my own grades. I have to be able to to see from the other point of view. Of what what could I have done to make this better? What have I? What did I do that was good? Um, would my performance have benefited from a small nudge in this direction? It's it's hard. It really, really is. My biggest influence in magic, anyway, um, I actually have two of them. The first one <laughs> I mentioned before was um, Merlin from the Disney sh movie um, Sword in the Stone. Uh, that, I, that and Robin Hood were two of my favorite uh, movies, probably of all time. But Merlin, because he is very, very smart, he is very, I guess, fatherly. And my dad, actually, um, he had this um, one trick that he would show me constantly make it he'd make it into a five minute affair but <laughs> it's um it's that one where you take the four kings on top of the deck they're bank robbers and you put each of them into one part of the deck give it a little bit of a whoosh, and then all of a sudden they're meeting up on the roof again on the top of the deck um yeah that one my family in jail my parents <laughs> my parents god help them they tried so hard to understand me myself I don't think they really succeeded, but I give them credit for trying. I give them credit for trying. And my, my grandma, my grandparents, they always were real supportive of this. It was like, eee, look at that. <laughs> and family reunions, they'd say, go get your cards. <laughs> so my family, my mom, my dad, and Sword in the Stone. Currently at the bar, I work for tips. I'm not on payroll or anything. So this is pretty in indicative of what I get one night. I got one, two, three, four dollars. Yep, four bucks for about six hours of work. That's not even minimum wage. That's okay. If I hold, every night I can get four bucks and hold on to it, don't spend it, eventually they're going to add up into something a little bit more. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty dollars I think. I think that's a pretty fair take, I'm not sure. What's in your wallet?